Hello, this is Joyce Latimer from Virginia Tech, and today we're going to talk about the role of drying conditions on PGR efficacy and PGR phytotoxicity. So thanks to Fine Americas for supporting this video. When we talk about how environmental conditions impact PGR absorption, we're basically talking about foliar applications, and we're looking for conditions that allow the product to stay on the leaf surfaces for a longer period of time. So we're looking for low drying conditions, like cloudy days or early mornings, late afternoons, moderate temperatures, and typically a higher relative humidity, and of course less air movement, less wind. These will all increase the absorption of any product placed on the surface of the leaf. Brian Whipker prepared this chart of the relative absorption times of different PGR products applied as foliar applications. So you can see that some of these products do require a much longer period of time to get good absorption into the plant. As you notice, dimenazide and ethophon are two that take the longest. I would add that configure or BA is also in that range of absorption. So we need more time or lower drying conditions to get good uptake of these products. So I'd like to take a minute to show you an example of a configure trial where we saw phytotoxicity due to environmental conditions. This trial was a rate study, so these rates are very high. These are not rates we would recommend for most of your crops. But we made applications in April to Heliopsis, and our relative humidity was very low, basically 38, 35%. And our temperature was quite warm, 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see that we made applications up to 1,200 parts per million to Heliopsis. We saw absolutely no phytotoxicity, and we saw very little response in this crop. And this crop had typically been responsive in terms of increased branching with configure applications. However, when we repeated the study in July with 900 parts per million configure applied to Heliopsis, we saw significant phytotoxicity within a week after treatment. At this time, our relative humidity at the time of application was 92%, so much slower drying times. Also, our temperature was lower at 72 degrees, so we had much more uptake of the product than we had in our April applications. In this case, with a rate of 900 parts per million, we saw a lot of phytotoxicity. You can see the twisting on these leaves. We actually had burnt edges on the, on the foliage. So this just shows you the impact of the drying conditions on the amount of product that is taken up. I believe that many times when a grower tells me that an application was ineffective, whether it was growth regulation or a BA treatment, a configure treatment, a lot of times it's because the product was not taken up in sufficient quantities by the plant. So the take home message is simply to pay attention to the drying conditions at the time you're making your PGR applications. Longer drying times will increase absorption. If your relative humidity is very low and your temperature is high, and your rate of drying is going to be very fast, you can expect very little PGR efficacy for the products that require long drying time. Again, for the ones that only require a half hour to an hour, then you're not going to see much difference with those drying conditions. But those that need more time for absorption, you're going to see less efficacy. Conversely, if the product is applied under very high relative humidity and lower temperatures or moderate temperatures, you're going to see more uptakes. So make sure that your rate of application is adjusted for that so that you do not run into phytotoxicity issues. So pay attention, record the data, and try to learn from your applications. Again, PGR applications, PGR use is still a lot of art mixed with the science. Thanks again to Fine Americas for supporting this video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Have a great day.